Welcome back to Money with Mark. And in today's episode, I wanna talk about this. And this isn't just a wallet with a really cool beer opener on it, um, but I wanna talk about what's inside my wallet and not the amount of money inside my wallet, which is um, none. But uh, I wanna talk about this thing right here. And this is Coho. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, welcome to my show. This is Money with Mark. I'm Mark and this is the show all about personal finances, saving money and becoming wealthy for life. All right, let's get into the episode talking about Coho. And I wanna do this episode because uh, it's been a while since I've been using Coho. This is my Coho metal card. Um, there's obviously free cards that you can get from Coho. And I've been using Coho for about three years now and I wanted to give a, an honest review on my opinion on Coho and to just kind of inform you on the positives, the negatives of it, and compare it to things like Wealthsimple and some of the bigger banks like TD and RBC. And if you wanna try Coho for yourself, then you can click the link in the description or the top comment, which I'll pin a link for Coho. And if you sign up using my link, then you get an extra 1% cash back on your Visa card and I do too, so it's a win-win. So let's start off talking about Coho. Coho advertises themselves as a financial balance company where you're gone with the bank fees and interest payments on credit cards. So that's Coho's promise to you and I. They say you sign up with us, with Coho, and you won't have to pay any bank fees and you won't have to pay any credit card fees or credit card interest payments. So on the surface, that sounds great. And we know a lot of fintech companies like Wealthsimple, like Milo, um, they all have their different takes on what they're doing with your personal finances. So that's what Coho says. But essentially what Coho actually is, is it's its own bank, really. Personally, I use TD as my main banking account, but over the past three years, I've been slowly transitioning and using more and more of Coho instead of TD. And I can honestly say that Coho has 100% followed through with their promises. Uh, there is no fees associated with me using Coho to bank with. I know with TD, I pay, I think it's $15 a month, which doesn't sound like much money and it's not, but when you add up all those bank fees over an entire year, it can be almost $200 a year, which I know that's still like not a lot of money, but for really providing you with not that many services, like why do you need to pay so much money for them to actually hold your money? Because they already have your money. So that's one of the things that has really irked me about, is irk even a word? Like, I don't know what irk is. That's one thing that's really irked me about these banks and I don't know why I'm like getting scared when I talk about these big banks irking me, but it really pisses me off because uh, big banks make so much money off of you and I, our, their everyday consumers. Um, they have mutual funds, they have investment accounts, uh, they make money off credit cards, they make money off of you in so many different ways. Even the money sitting in your bank account, it's not actually there, it's just numbers on a screen. And they will pull money from somewhere else if you ever need to uh, withdraw it or move it over into another place. So these big banks make so much money off of us and yet they still are even charging us for every possible service in every way. Uh, so that's one of the things that really pisses me off about the big banks charging you a monthly fee just to have a bank account. And that's where Coho really delivers. My favorite feature about Coho is that they offer so many services that your everyday bank does. They offer you free cards or you can upgrade to this beautiful metal replacement card, which by the way, the metal card is like so awesome. It feels really cool in your hand. I did a full review video on this, which I'll link up above here. You can just click and you can watch that video. Um, but the metal card is really awesome. It looks like this and I can't tell you how many times I've gotten compliments on this metal card. Um, and it kind of makes me feel like this like rich multimillionaire, even though I'm not, uh, just cause it's such a different card and it's heavier and it really is flashy. And I really love the way it looks, feels and functions as a bank account too. But Coho will give you a regular card uh, if you're just, just signing up with them for free. And it works pretty much the exact same way as a bank. 
If you ever need to withdraw or deposit money, you can go to ATMs anywhere. So let's get into some of the positives about Coho. Number one, there's no bank fees, as I said before, and that's really awesome to see. Number two, these credit cards are not operating the way credit cards usually do. These operate in the same way as a prepaid credit card does. So what you do is you essentially load up this card with money and then you can only spend whatever money you have loaded onto your card. So that way it prevents you having to pay any interest fees on credit card payments that you're not keeping up with and it helps you keep your lifestyle in check, making sure that you don't spend more money than you have. And I love that all the cards are free except for the premium metal one, which I have because I nerd out a little bit on personal finances. And everybody gets cash back automatically. There's no annual fees for these credit cards and everybody gets, I think it's at least 1% back cash back. Uh, and that will fluctuate as well with time. And probably the biggest positive of Coho is that they have as many features as you could possibly want. If you want to set up direct deposit with your company or with the government for any sort of payments that you get, you have an institution number, an account number, and you can set all those payments up. If you need to take money out, like cash out of any ATM, you can just go to an ATM and take out that cash from your account. You can transfer money over into your regular banking account or uh, an alternative banking account with ease. You can do email transfers for free. And that's the one thing for me that really sets Coho apart from a company like Wealthsimple. I've used Wealthsimple a lot and just without having a card with Wealthsimple, and I know they're coming out with one soon, uh, but without having a card, even with having a card, I have personally found troubles trying to transfer money in and out of Wealthsimple. Now in is usually fine, but whenever I try to transfer money out of Wealthsimple, uh, they make you jump through so many hoops to get your money out of it. Um, because they want you to keep your money with them. Uh, but Coho doesn't have that. Coho really gives you the flexibility you want and the control that you should have when it comes to your own money. And some other positives is that I love the Coho app. Uh, you can log in with your fingerprint, which is so convenient. You can immediately see on the home screen before you even log in how much money you have to spend. Uh, you can see your cashback earned, so your power-ups is what they call it. You can also see your insights, which is how much money you spent or saved every month. And all those third party savings tools, like rounding purchases up to the nearest dollar or setting savings goals and making automatic deposits into those savings goals, Coho has that already built into their app here. So if you wanna set up savings goals, you can set up a saving goal, you can create your goal here. Um, you can just name it like new car tires in the spring and you can save up for that goal. Uh, and you can also set your roundups going on, which means that you just save um, every money, they round it up to the nearest dollar, your purchases, and then you just bank that money automatically. And so you're saving without even realizing that you're saving. Coho also makes it really easy in their app to pay your bills by pressing the money icon, um, setting up direct deposit, uh, moving money around to like a joint account, uh, transferring money in and out of Coho, and adding more money to Coho. And another really big thing that I love about Coho that not a lot of, lot of other fintech companies have, which is to have a joint account. And so that really works well for me and my partner where we have a joint Coho card uh, and we each put money into that. And then we each have our own separate card too. So while we're still sharing finances together, we each have access to it but yet still have our own personal accounts on the side of that, which is really good for each individual and together as a couple. Another good benefit of Coho is that they have a lot of uh, places where you can get extra bonuses and extra cash back on your purchases. On places like booking.com, you can earn 6% cash back, which is pretty awesome if you're gonna go book a vacation and you can actually earn 6% cash back instead of like one or 2% with your regular Visa card. So having those partnerships is really beneficial to you and me. And now time to get into the negatives or the cons of Coho. But before I do, if you've been enjoying this video, please hit the like button uh, because it really helps promote my channel to more people that could also use this information like yourself. And please hit the subscribe button, which is right here, I think, if you click in this corner, uh, the little logo down there to subscribe, or just hit the big red subscribe button below this 
Um, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers this year. So it would really help me out uh, if you would become one of those members. It would be awesome to have you sticking around this channel and seeing more of my videos. Okay, so let's get into the negatives. Uh, so Coho has partnered with one ATM company that has uh, like 10,000 plus ATMs around Canada that uh, you can take your money in and out of for free. Now, the problem is, is that no one really knows what ATMs these are. Like you can figure it out. And they used to have a map on their app, which helped you locate any ATM. But for the finding the ones with without any fees for deposits or withdrawals, it's pretty hard to do. And the map doesn't separate that out. And I actually can't find the map anymore on their app. I think they removed that off of it. So that's something that I would like to see Coho come out with is a map showing us the users where we can do withdrawals for free without paying a $3 charge. The other downside is that Coho does not have an investment platform. Now, I assume that they're working on this in the back end because there's a lot of money to be made in offering an investment platform. This is something that uh, Wealthsimple does really well is the investment side of things. Um, but Coho doesn't have anything like that yet, which to be honest, I don't mind that much because I use Quest Trade anyways, um, and I wouldn't be using anything else other than Quest Trade. Uh, and if you want to see why I'm using Quest Trade, I'll link to the Quest Trade review video up here in this corner here. So I'm not too bummed that Coho doesn't have uh, an investment platform. Um, if they did, that would really kind of put them in the level of like the big banks offering all these solutions. Um, so I'm assuming it's coming, but I'm just not sure on when that will be available. And the third biggest con about Coho is that they don't have a high interest savings account. Um, I really love high interest savings account for my emergency funds, but then also for my savings goals too. Like right now I'm saving up to go to Jamaica for a wedding. And if I had a high interest savings account within Coho, I would be keeping a lot more of my money in Coho, earning about one or 2% interest on that money. And so I'd really like to see Coho come out with that, but good news because Coho actually is coming out with that. And I believe they're planning to release that this fall um, of 2020. So I will be sure to give you guys a review. I actually get early access to that. Um, so I'll give you guys a review on how I like their savings, their high interest savings account when it does come out and when it is released. But that's really the only thing that Coho is missing. Um, their chat, their customer support sometimes might take a little bit to get back at you. Um, but you know, to be honest, you're saving so much in fees that like they just don't have those funds to allocate more to customer service. So if you're someone who's like always spending like four hours on the phone with RBC or like BMO and you, you love doing that, then Coho is probably not the place for you. Um, but if you don't mind, you know, sending a message and then waiting for a day for someone to get back to you, then um, Coho is a great solution for that. Uh, it's not that instantaneous, but they do have some good features in there and lots of good documentation to support and help you out. Okay, so let's summarize what we've talked about here today um, about Coho. And the first thing is that the metal cards are freaking awesome and very cool. The best feature of Coho, in my opinion, is that it's pretty much like a full functioning bank and bank account for you. And it really enables people, if you are struggling with spending more than you earn, um, by switching all your finances over to Coho, you would really have the control and also the inability to access like debt. Um, and so it really, really helps you focus on saving money and spending less than you earn if you switch all of your finances over to Coho. Um, so that's the biggest features, the biggest bonus of Coho. Um, I've obviously had Coho for three years and I've been using it more and more every year, it seems like. Um, so this isn't something I wouldn't be recommending if I didn't want to use it. Uh, I have reviewed Wealthsimple, but I don't use Wealthsimple that much uh, because they have a lot of limitations in their features. And that's kind of why I've been using Coho a lot more. And my takeaway is that I love the cash back with Coho. Uh, I use it for pretty much all of my everyday spending. And it's really awesome to flash up my metal card and just get the compliments on it because, you know, it makes me feel good. I pat myself on the back. Because even if you can't be rich, you may as well be able to look rich. And the biggest con is that there's no high interest savings account or investment account on it right now. So overall, I would give Coho a 9 out of 10. Um, I've really been loving using it and it's something that I'm using more and more. Uh, so I highly recommend that you try out Coho, even if it's just to play around with it. 
It's completely free to create an account and get a card going for you, or even getting a joint account going for you and your partner. And use the link in the description here or in my pinned comment of this video and you can get yourself an extra 1% cash back on your Coho card. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know there was no talks about any mojitos in this video, but I mean, it's probably about that time anyways to go get a mojito. So I'm gonna go do that and make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you all in the next episode. Peace out.